Welcome everybody to the brand new lambing barn we built. Uh, the maternity ward, if you will. Here they all are, 74 pregnant sheeps in here. We have Ellen, the shepherd. Can you say shepherdess? I don't know whether you can say that these days. Anyway, the sheep expert. She's going to be here, but not always. So I need to learn, and I'm going to learn by watching her. Think how many skills I'll have then. Power over still while shouting. Midwife. Job one was to make sure the expectant mums were evenly split up in the separate pens. Seven, eight, ten, twelve. Now, why have you all gone in there? Why have they done that? Finally, though, everything was ready for the arrival of 138 lambs. And now we just had to wait for Mother Nature to roll her sleeves up. There's been a big rise in the number of people in the UK who have died of coronavirus. 181. The Scottish Government has recommended wearing face coverings in limited circumstances where social distancing... The days passed and no lambs appeared. But then, one morning, as I was feeding the hens... Stop fighting! Hello? What? On our way, on our way, lambing. Woo, 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 lamb shed. Predictably, one of the sheeps had waited for Ellen the shepherd to go home and then decided it was ready. There we go. Going down. And if you edge closer, then, she'll get used to you. In an ideal world, she should give birth on her own. I'm just here as backup. She's trying. Look at her. Oh, God, something's coming out of it. Jeremy, it's Jeremy, just bird. make sure it's the head first. Well, how am I supposed to see if that's... Oh, she's up. Oh, it's out, it's out, it's out. Yes, look! Oh. oh, that is just brilliant. I am so thrilled. That is a massive bag of blood. Oh, my giddy aunt. The whole process is sort of incredibly sweet and incredibly revolting simultaneously. At the front, every Easter card made real. At the back, I mean, not even John Carpenter has thought of anything that revolting. Our first diddly squat birth had gone well, but the mother was carrying twins, and worryingly, there was no sign of the second one. There was obviously a problem, and there was no point calling Caleb for help, as he'd made it very plain he wasn't interested. You know, sheep, I just don't get on well with them. Jeremy's got this to come. You know, it's summer, it's really hot, he's really busy on the tractor trying to get the corn in. All of a sudden, he sees in the distance there's one sheep twitching. So he goes, oh, I'll have a look at that. All of a sudden, there's maggots dropping out of it, you know? Or he's got his head stuck in a fence and killed itself. Cos you, you know for a damn fact it's going to happen. It's all good when they're lambing. Oh, look at that cute lamb. You wait. Come summer and they're all getting out and running around the place, you're going to go, fucking sheep. Happily, back at the barn, Ellen had arrived in time to sort things out. So we have got a head and no feet. Yeah, that, is that the problem? There is a foot there. Can you see that foot? There we go. What have we got there? Two legs? Two legs and a nose. Well, you're just going to pull it out? So she'll do it on her own now. There you go. So can you see this fluid's quite dark yellow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That means that the lamb's been a bit stressed. Why? Probably because it was just taking a bit longer to come out. Is it all right? Yeah, it's fine. So that last one was probably it's just... They were jammed up. Yeah. It's like that bit on the A40 where the two cars have to go into one. Yeah. 